knowing your enemy is winning half the battle. I have said that a few times before in my videos. And the reason why I repeat it, because your whole plan will depend on what you are expecting. If you're expecting a mosquito, a slipper will work. But if you're expecting a wildebeest, it might not be your best choice. Mm-hmm. Same in the seas. Some cores deserve slippers, and others deserve cannons and kegs. Based on that, you guys asked me to make more videos on predicting the enemy and what to look for. But unlike my previous video, this was explained live during my Twitch stream to help you understand why I'm doing specific actions. And by the end, if you felt this was useful, do the thing. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. By the way, um, Solo Slooper, don't even worry about firebombs. Stock up on blunder bombs as much as you can. Keep a distance, someone boards, smack down, get him off the ladder. Keep your ship clear, don't fall off. You know, they sound like normal things. But when you say them again, when you say these things again, it kind of like reignites, you know. Double gunning is for the weak. Triple gunning is for the strong. I'm gonna have triple guns on me. Winds southwest. Sails not angled. Arena sails. Prepare yourself, my lord. Different ways of playing now. Alright, first I need to better my aim. Oh, I thought these are in a... Uh, sails. Well, at least the angular sails, not bad. Alright, come to me, man. Turn to me, turn. The anchor turned. Okay, that's a uh, very... Not superior move. Well, it's not wrong, but you know. Because because when someone anchor turns, how long does it take them to raise the anchor? Is the question. That tells you how good the how good or efficient the player the crew is. You know. Now wind is heading that way. This is a brigantine, so if I go that way, they're gonna be super fast with me, right? So we're gonna actually do that because there are rocks there. We're gonna harpoon turn from a rock really fast to get him off track and then hit him from the back. Come on, I'm with the wind. You have your shots? Yep, plan is working. I'm alone, so I might need uh, one of them. Hotkey blunder, hotkey bucket. Are you coming? You're coming. Nice, 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 nice.
Speed up, all the way, speed up, man! I hit something. Oh yeah, I hit the front mast! <laughs> oh la la! Okay, let's do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You've seen so much! Ah! Tell me that wasn't a good shot, man. I might do something fast now. I might jump. I might board fast just once. Because they have our friend uh, thingy in the top, right? So... Yes! Yes, man! Wow, that worked or not! Yes! Talk about that! Oh. Yes! Wonderful. Let's do that. Come on, come on. What ship is that, my friend? Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Fresh solo slooping, man. Get out of here. Where are you? Come on. No, not this. Oh, he blunder sniped me? Bye, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now they're on fire. Plane is dropped. Thank you so much, 250 bits, matey. Some days things work better than expected, but that's the plan, you know, uh, so far, every <laughs> so far everything's working well. Sometimes you plan something and it just doesn't work, you know. Now their ship is there, waiting for me to destroy it. Now most probably no one's gonna board you like fast enough. Just make sure you kind of bombard them. Eye of the sniper. What was that, man? Now you want to prevent people to come to your ship. So I give them something to do on their ship. Like playing cards, playing with fire. You know what I mean. So I drop their mast again. I'm gonna raise my sails because I was a bit in a bad position. What just happened when I joined the stream perfect time? <laughs> I don't understand some weird like the drag issues and stuff you know, as usual but like I threw the I threw the blunder bomb like next to him but he still fell the problem is I'm a bit too close I should have been further The 
What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Hard still on my ship. I wish he can blow on the gun. I mean, he would have killed himself anyways, but... Um... What do we do now, guys? What do we do now? <laughs> Let's do it! And they sunk! GG, guys. Perfectly executed. Plan. Oh, yeah. Nice thing. Cleanest drop. Thank you so much. 150 bits, man. Nice one, yeah. See, change the change the standards of slooping. Change the standards. Usually, people sail against the wind. When I gave him a lot of wind, only if there are rocks here by you turning. Of course, doesn't always work. The reason why I planned these is because I could tell some of their uh, movements weren't like very skilled. You know, if this was a fully efficient brigantine crew, this specific plan. Wouldn't have worked. Now the reason why I'm dropping... Paul spread, continue gifted sub they got from the real Zoop. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the content. The reason why I dropped my anchor is because I know for a fact they don't have kegs. Because I blow up theirs. So in case someone back spawns... Or spawns, what are they called, you know, when you spawn back here. He won't, like, raise anchor and steal my ship. Which is not the biggest deal, but... And that's why I also don't do a dual sloop. Do a brigantine. As soon as you landed that first change shot, it was over. Yeah, the first one in the front. <laughs> Bam, so Geo, I was going, man. You're my favorite CFT streamer, you too. Matt, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, my friend. It's also going to be coming. False spray, thank you so much, man.